Having the best trading tools is important to a professional Forex and crypto trader. Maverick Currencies believes TradingView is one of the best tools for traders. Since our traders trade our capital and keep 70 to 80% of profits, it's essential to have the best trading tools, which is why we substantially train all our traders to use TradingView to maximize profits. We are happy to share our expertise with the public to make you a better currency trader. If you're ready to be a professional currency trader, click on the apply link in the video description. Now on to our tutorial. In today's TradingView tutorial, we're going to go over how you can create custom indicator templates. One of the amazing features it, that TradingView offers to traders and analysts is the ability to mix and match all these different indicators together and to group them according to your own personal preferences. So once you're logged into TradingView, you're going to see the indicators tab at the top here. If I click on indicators, it's going to pull up all of these various indicators. Uh, so you can see I favorited quite a few, but you can search for whatever you want. Let's say I want to search for uh, moving averages. All I would have to type into the search field is moving average, and I'll see a number of different options. So under technicals, these are all the ones that are built into TradingView. When you scroll a little bit further down, you're going to see community scripts. So these are custom indicators that have been coded by other traders and analysts. I would highly suggest avoiding the community scripts unless you know exactly why someone coded a certain indicator a certain way. Uh, with the more common technical studies, you can simply Google them if you wanted to get a more detailed explanation of exactly what they measure. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add a simple moving average, and we're also going to go ahead and add the relative strength index. So I'm just gonna type in RSI, I'm gonna get relative strength index, and let's say these two indicators are a template that I would like to save. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this little uh, four squares here next to indicators, and the subheader for that button is indicator templates. Once I click on that, I can say save indicator template, and I'm going to type in the template name. In this case, I'll do moving averages, moving average plus RSI, and then I click save. Now, if I wanted to remove all my indicators and come back to a completely clean price chart, I can do so. And then the next step is to click on these four squares again, and then I'm going to see the moving average plus RSI template right here. I'm gonna click that, and there we go. All right, traders, that's the tutorial. Hope you learned something new. We'll talk to you next time.